guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is actually a little bit different for me here on my channel. Um, I have spoken to you guys before about potentially introducing like a series where I do like test face masks and show you guys face masks because like I talk about them a lot, but you never actually see them in action. Um, so maybe this video can be kind of part of that. Oh, by the way, we need to, I need to show you my jumper. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Any Harry Potter fans out there, you will fill me with this. Sorry, I just had to show you that. I'm actually a serial collector of Harry Potter merch. Like, we've got socks, jumpers, t shirts, tracksuit pants, both Brandon and I, too. It's not just me. It's a Harry Potter house that we live in. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, in today's video, I wanted to talk about a mask that I have been testing out for quite a little while now. Um, I, I just truly feel like it deserves its own video. It's that freaking good. Now, I will preface this by saying it's completely, this is like unsponsored, 100% unsponsored. I just want to say that because I feel like people will be like, oh, this is a sponsored video. It's truly, truly not. I just, I am absolutely so obsessed with this product. I need to show you how good it is. I need to show you what it looks like, how it applies, how my skin looks afterwards. Um, it is just amazing. And I was about to take my makeup off and sort of get ready to snuggle down for the night. Um, but I was like, no. I'm going to film another video and I'm going to show, I'm going to start this face mask series. <laughs> so the mask that I'm talking about in today's video is the brand new Ulla Henriksen Fat Glow Facial. You've probably seen a lot about this mask on social media. Um, it's, you know, they're working with a lot of people at the minute. It's sort of all over everywhere. Brand new launch for them as well. Just recently launched, probably only about two or three weeks ago now. This mask is absolutely worth every single cent. In fact, I would pay double the price for this. It is that good. I've never come across a mask that really I can see results from you know immediately straight away like I take it off and I'm like oh my god my skin looks incredible and I truly get that from this mask now this one's called fat glow because it's powered by PHAs and basically a PHA is like a larger AHA molecule um, which means that it can't get through the like the natural protective barrier of the skin it can't get in through and irritate and cause you know inflammation and stuff like that it's a really amazing exfoliating mask and you can feel it tingling and sort of chemically exfoliating but it doesn't like once you remove it you don't have the redness that you normally have with exfoliating masks you don't have the downtime you don't have any irritation you don't have any like damage on the skin oh my goodness the glow that it gives your skin the plumpness that it gives your skin the smoothness like I truly wish after I take this off that you could like reach through the screen and like just feel my face because oh I am obsessed with this now I did quickly want to go on their website and just very quickly read out you know, the other benefits and stuff in this so that you've got all the information that you need. Yeah, so it says, what makes PHA so special? They're fat, literally. So they deliver skin perfecting, age finding benefits, but the pH molecules are a little bit plumper, so therefore they don't go as deep and they don't loosen up the glue that binds the surface layer of the skin together. So it exfoliates, illuminates, and fights all signs of aging, this one. Um, it's got, obviously the PHAs, like I said, it's got Nordic birch sap in it as well to hydrate and nourish the skin. Pink bentonite clay to clarify and renew chia seed oil. And um, that's for nourishing, hydrating, restoring hydration and things like that. Cotton extract to soften the skin. Uh, it's also got lemon, sugarcane, licorice root, chamomile, sandalwood extracts, all for conditioning the skin. Like it is just absolutely packed with amazing ingredients. Um, what I'm going to do, like, because I feel like sitting here talking about it isn't really giving you a, a good indication. What I'm going to do is actually take off my makeup um, and then I'm going to apply the mask on camera, show you how I apply it and how you activate it. It's actually like really cool. It's a cool texture and you actually have to massage it to activate it. I don't know about you, but I appreciate a good science project. I'm all about a science project. Um, and then, yeah, I'll wipe it off and show you my skin after, basically. All right, so I'm going to take off my makeup now. And I'm just going to hang out and chat because I feel like I haven't actually been able to sit down and talk to you guys lately. I've um, got my favorite all-time oh, Dermalogica pre-cleanse. You guys know how much I love this. This is an oil cleanser. Turns into kind of like a milky sort of a consistency. And this is like a sleeves up situation, guys. But like with face masks, I feel like... You know, you go in store and you sort of see them and you sort of smell them and I don't know, the marketing is all the same for all of the face masks. Like they all look basically the same. They all, I don't know, it makes it really, really hard to actually know what's going to be good, what's going to actually work, what isn't going to work and what might suit you and your skin. So I sort of hope showing you guys this on camera I might be able to give you a little bit more information and maybe prevent you wasting money on a face mask that's not quite right for you. Hopefully it will help. 
hopefully. So I've massaged that in and I'm pretty much just going to wipe it off now. Now another thing about this mask is it's fantastic like if you've got a special event like let's say you've got an event on the weekend and you want your makeup to look extra smooth extra perfect and you want your skin to be extra plump it's a really good option to use before applying your makeup. Um, it does work so well. Another thing that I wanted to mention too I was lucky enough um, I went on a trip recently with Ola Henriksen and I was able to really spend some some time with him um, you know getting to know him talking to him truly one of the most incredible people I have ever met I mean I've met him before and I already knew he was you know fantastic and amazing and all of that um, but like he's just the most happiest beautiful kindest loving caring like he's just he's he's a one-of-a-kind person you know how you meet those people in life sometimes and then you kind of feel changed for the better and they make you want to be a better person and they make you kind of give you a new, I mean, not, not like a new outlook on life, but like you you really just, you're like, wow, you're an amazing person. Um, Ulla Henriksen is that person. All right, so I've got all my makeup off pretty much. You do want to go in, you know, with the face mask on clean skin, obviously. We all know that. Got my little ears keep popping out and they look funny. Just... I'll tuck you back in there. Now I'm not going to bother taking off my um, eye makeup because after this face mask, like after I show you and take it off and you know put on, I'm just going to jump in the shower. So I'll just wash my eyes off in the shower. But let's get to putting this on. This is what the packaging looks like. It's like a little white canister. Um, you do get 50 mil of product in this one. And then, I mean, mine's a little bit gungy because I've used it so much, but it is actually a pump mask. Like most masks, like you scoop out of a tub. This one you actually pump out. I'm going to pop a couple of pumps on the back of my hand just to give you sort of an idea and like see how it's like quite like a sticky sort of a texture. And hopefully you can see the texture of the mask there. Like it's quite different to most masks um, in terms of the texture. Now, when I say this smells incredible, no word of a lie. It is one of the yummiest smelling things ever. And it's like this beautiful, like pink kind of a color. Obviously the bentonite clay gives it this color. It's also got this amazing sticky texture. Like you can really, can you see like the stickiness? It's absolutely awesome. Basically what you do is you smooth it on. You don't need to put like a super, super thick layer. Um, sort of just enough, you know, to feel like it is everywhere. And it's okay to work it up sort of underneath the eyes. I wouldn't go too close to the eyes. But don't obviously rub it and apply it over top of your eyes. We're not wanting to, we're not wanting to exfoliate our eyeballs, guys. No. You guys know how much I love exfoliating. I love me a good face mask that tingles, that I can really feel working. Um, I definitely get that with this mask, but it's also not like super intense. It's not like, okay, wow, like I can really feel those acids working. But I've literally smoothed that all over my face. And honestly, I could look it off. It smells so good. It's like... It's not necessarily like a citrus smell, but it smells absolutely amazing. Now, the cool part is to activate the ingredients and to activate that exfoliation, you have to massage it into the skin. That changes from pink to white. So I'll show you now as I do it. And I use both hands, you know. Go hard or go home, like get the job done. Um, see how as I massage it in, it's changing to more of a white color. Oh my God, it feels so good. <laughs> Like it feels like a facial and it, honestly, I'm not that great at going out. Oh, and see, I can feel the warmth and I can feel the tingling now that I've activated it. I can feel it working now. <laughs> it feels so good. I'm a really, I should be better at it, but I'm not great at being like, you know what? I need some downtime. I'm going to go to a salon. I'm going to book myself in a facial. Um, I'm going to actually go have some me time. I'm really not the best at doing that. And this, like I get the same pampering kind of a feeling that I get from doing that in a salon. I can get it at home with this. Like it's one of, I mean, I've got a lot of face masks that I really, really love and I am going to be showing them here as well, you know, on my channel as part of this series. But I just, I feel pampered. I feel looked after. I feel like I'm getting that same beautiful glowy skin, but without having to go in, without having to spend a whole bunch of money, um, you know, it's just, it's a much easier way of doing it. All right, so I've massaged that all in and I have activated it. And like I said, it does feel warm on the skin now. I can feel it tingling, but it's not like a painful 
stinging kind of a tingle. Like I can just sort of feel it sort of prickling away. I have never had any irritation with this mask. I do actually get quite red skin with a lot of exfoliating masks, but I also love that about them. I'm happy. I'm usually happy with the downtime. Like I don't, I don't really mind, but yeah, there's no downtime with this. It doesn't cause that redness and that irritation. And honestly, it smells so good. So freaking good. You can also obviously apply it down your neck as well. Um, I didn't want to get it on Harry, Harry and friends. So I'm just going to stop it there. But 15 minutes, I let this sit for 15 minutes. So I'm going to go and do some other stuff um, for 15 minutes and then come back and we're going to remove it. And you're going to see what my skin looks like. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. I'm back and this is what the mask looks like. I just wanted you guys to see it on the skin. My favorite way to remove it is in the shower. But, um, you know, you can use like a damp cloth if you like as well. Um, and it sort of just melts off the skin. Now, the only thing is rubbing my skin causes a redness. Don't for a second think that it's the mask that causes that. It's absolutely caused by me rubbing my skin. This mask does not make my face red at all. Um, like I said, because the molecules are larger, um, you know, the, the exfoliating acids, they don't get down as deep and they don't cause that irritation and that redness. But removing this, and I might actually have to go to the sink to finish this because it's quite sticky and I'm going to need a whole lot more water than this. <laughs> All right, so I've rinsed it off and this is what my skin looks like after. It is honestly... <sighs> It's, I just feel like it's in no way going to show through the camera. It's so glowy. It is so plump. It's so smooth. It feels soft as anything. I can really tell that it has been exfoliated. It's got that beautiful feel that your skin has after it's been chemically exfoliated. You know how all of a sudden you're like, oh, I've lost like all of my dead skin cells that I just did not need. Like that's what it feels like. It feels amazing. And truly this doesn't just last now, like I wake up tomorrow, my skin still feels this good. It still looks this good. It's probably a little bit tricky. I mean, I've got breakouts. I've got areas of redness and stuff that were already there, you know, before, but like, Oh, I love, I love, love, love the way that this makes my skin feel. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. I hope that you found it helpful to actually see, um, you know, a mask in action, to see what it looks like when it's applied, you know, the texture, the consistency and all that. Let me know if you did enjoy this video. I would love to show you guys, you know, versions of these videos with all of my favorite face masks because I'm a face mask junkie and face masks are expensive and there is a lot of crap out there that actually does nothing for your skin. You know, a lot of false claims, a lot of stuff and I I don't want you guys wasting money on products that won't necessarily work for you. So let me know. Did you enjoy the video? Did you not? Um, let me know if you want to see more of them. I'm going to go and have a shower. Actually take off my eye makeup and jump into bed. And maybe read my book. That's the plans for the evening. But I love you guys heaps. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I will catch you in my next video.